I work uh, at IMAS at the University of Tasmania and I'm the director of the ARC Research Hub for Rock Lobster Culture Systems. People have been working on this for a long time, so they started lobster research in Japan in the 1960s. A lot of places around the world have been able to produce a few lobsters. They produce them in uh, like a, a 10 litre bowl where someone looks after two or three individuals and if there's any disease they use antibiotics. It was obvious to us that that approach was never going to be able to be turned into a commercial proposition. How do you take that to a scale where you've got tens of thousands of animals in a tank and provide the appropriate feed and water condition? I've done research on larval development, on hatchery production, and with rock lobsters, that's the main issue that has been faced in, in making this an industry that you can actually go out and get animals from a hatchery and grow them out. ARC Research Hub has, initially it had the goal of you know, closing the larval cycle on a commercial scale. We were able to achieve that and we're partnered with a partner now that's actually going to build a hatchery and, and do some actual grow out of the animals. Because this is likely to happen in Australia, there's issues around how do you grow these animals out in a sustainable way. It's everyone's aim, of course, to actually see something commercialised rather than, that was good, let's put that on the shelf. Straight away, there's 10 other questions that we've got to answer.